Alright, so with the chanterelles, when you have a lot of them and you want to put them up for the winter, I usually just drop them in some cold water real quick, get this excess dirt off them. I'll put them on, paper, on some towels, dry them out of the sun um, for a couple hours, and then just get a real big saute pan, crank up the heat, no oil or anything, throw the mushrooms in. I'm going to cook them until they purge all their liquid out, dump the liquid out. Take the mushrooms, lay them out in a sheet pan with some wax paper, freeze them for a couple hours, take them out, and then I usually just put them in a the Ziploc bag so you can cryovac them in the last six to eight months. When you purge all the liquid out, it helps to keep the texture of the mushroom intact, um, so you don't lose that. It's the best thing to fresh I've found. Okay. Yeah, this is Tony White. I'm a farmer, and I'm here at Odell Country Club with Chef Brett, and you know, Chef spends a lot of time in the weekend walking the forest looking for chanterelles and you know he has a big box in front of us today I mean this is about 15 pounds of chanterelles and I just wanted you know him to share with me what are some of his secrets of how to keep this product going and how to really add some good flavor to you know your food throughout the next six months so Brett let me just ask you one other question here when you're looking in the forest for chanterelles what are some of the things the signs that you look for and how you find this product I would say with chanterelles uh, good cross timber is important. Um, slopes and anywhere that's rocky with a lot of moss is always good. In the mossy areas, you'll generally get cleaner morel um, than in the woods. I mean, this will happen when there's a lot of rain, but it's no big deal. You just you can either brush it off or you can rinse it off real quick. You don't want to soak them too long because they'll absorb a lot of that water. Okay. So, all right. So now, how do you use? What, what applications do you use for chanterelles when you're cooking? I mean, I make, when I get a lot like this, when I forage my shelf, I'll pack them up for the winter, I'll make ravioli with them. Um, you know, last night I made a green bean chanterelle ragu with smoked okay. chicken. So now you're you're a few scales above everybody else here. So about the home person, what would be some of the basic things that you would say? Pasta. You know, pasta. Yeah, it's the pasta in there. Okay. You take the chanterelles, you saute them up with a little shallot, um, a little garlic, get them with some cream, throw the pasta in, shave some parmesan over them, and it's one of the oh best things God. you can do. Yeah, that's or, awesome. you just roast them, throw them on a steak, and call it a day. All right. Hey, Chef, thank great. you very much for taking the time and helping folks out here at Tony's Family Farm. And, uh, you know, we'll let you know how the recipes go. I'm going to be playing with this box of uh, chanterelles over the weekend here. Thanks yeah, a lot. Have fun. Okay.